Hey everybody, just a quick little heads up. I kind of blew up my hard drive while uploading round two, so we kind of lost all of the edited footage. Luckily, I still had the raw video file on my camera, so I re-recorded it and just did as much bare bones editing as I possibly could to get it out to you guys. We've learned our lesson. Everything's being backed up right now. Enjoy. What's going on, Legacy Legion? We are here for round two of the first Legacy of the North Invitational Tournament. Here we have Elliot versus Michael Chan. So Elliot is on Jund Goblins or Food Chain Goblins. Michael on, I believe, Red Black Painter. So here, Michael is selecting the sticker, the sticker sheets. I don't, I don't really know what to call them. I don't know if there's an official name for them, but we're just gonna call them sticker sheets. I don't know exactly how the how they work, uh, so maybe we'll find out in this match. All right, so Michael on the play here plays Urza Saga as the first land for turn into Lotus Petal, Lotus Petal, pass. Elliot draws Ignoble Hierarch. Plays Wooded Foothills and cracks it. Ooh, so there is no life counter... Yes, no life counter. So Elliot is at 19. Uh, at the end of the turn, Michael cracks his Lotus Petal, flashes in Bowmasters, shoots the Ignoble Hierarch, creating a Orc Army token. Draws for the turn, upticks the Urza Saga, goes into combat, and attacks for two. Brings Elliot down to 17. There's a Painter Servant after playing an Urza Saga number two and passing the turn. Elliot draws for turn. Not quite sure what it is at the moment. So it looks like there's two Food Chains, Ancient Tomb, Badlands. I think that's a Badlands. The Painter Servant has named Blue. Going to play the Ancient Tomb for the turn. Go to tap out and cast Food Chain. So now Elliot is at 15. Upticking both Urza Saga. Urza Saga gonna float for mana here. Going to find Grindstone. It is Grindstone. And we're gonna Grindstone them out of the deck or out of the game. So Michael wins game one. Very quick here for Michael. That's what sometimes just, just what Painter does. Very good. Now that Urza Saga is here. Okay, so here we are for game two. Michael picking the sticker sheets. Didn't really get to see any any action from them in the first game, as Michael, I believe, won on turn two, turn three? I think it was turn two. Elliot is going to be on the play this game. Michael, considering doing a mulligan here, Elliot is going to keep his opening seven. So yes, Michael is going to mulligan down to six. This is the first mulligan. Michael, looking at his hand, going to keep six. Going to ditch a goblin. It looked like a goblin engineer from his, his hand. Elliot going to play mountain and pass the turn. Michael going to start with ancient tomb, going down to 18, playing painter's servant. I'm going to see what color is going to be named. It is going to name black. Okay, so Elliot's going to top deck a another mountain here. Elliot plays his own ancient tomb, goes down to 18. There's a goblin matron, so he gets to search his deck for any goblin, and it gets to put it on the top of his library. So both players, I believe, are at 18. Elliot searches for goblin trash master. 
So that's one of the goblins that can uh, has an activated ability, I believe, where he can sacrifice a goblin and blow up an artifact. Gonna cast Fury, exiling Goblin Chieftain, blows up the Painter Servant. Michael plays Badlands for the turn, tapping for three mana. Find, plays Goblin Engineer, gonna tutor an artifact to go to the graveyard. So he has one mana floating and should be at 16 HP. Finds a Phyrexian Dragon Engine. One of the new additions to Painter. Add some mid-range capabilities here. Also gives a pretty nice three-card draw and can be recurred quite easily. So with the one floating, he's going to cast Pithy Needle. Probably going to name the Trash Master that was found. And then, yep, so he's naming Trash Master, and then he plays Lotus Petal Passes a turn back to Elliot. Plays Mountain that he drew on turn two. Is there a Null Rod about to come down? Null Rod not fantastic against Michael's board at the moment. It only pretty much prevents the Lotus Petal from doing anything because the Goblin Engineer is there. So Elliot does decide to play the Null Rod. Michael says, sure, resolves. Going to pass the turn back to Michael. Michael going to draw for the turn. I think he drew Painter's Servant. It's very hard to see with the glare and the triple. Oh, no, it is a grindstone. So taps three mana, plays Orcish Bowmasters, kills the Goblin Matron, makes an Orc army token so still has one mana floating uses it for the grindstone attacks with the goblin engineer takes elliot down to 17. So it looks like elliot drew a forest plays cavern of souls most likely naming goblins elliot goes down to 15 plays the trash master passes the turn michael gonna draw for the turn nope not yet just untaps He could be considering activating the Goblin Engineer to bring back the Phyrexian Dragon Engine. Which he does. Discards his Bowmaster, draws three cards, and then gets to draw for turn. So there's a Fable of the Mirror Breaker and an Arid Mesa at least. So this is a pretty overwhelming board state from Michael's side. I don't think we're going to need to combo out here. I think that's also a mountain. So mountain for turn, taps it for mana. There's a goblin welder. Very nice. So now Michael can just be drawing a new fresh four every turn if he would like. There's a forest for turn on Elliot's side. Tapping for three mana. Going to cast a... Oh, what's the name of this goblin? Hey guys, Ben from the future. The name of the goblin is Bogart Harbinger. It's a three mana 2-1. And when it comes into the battlefield, you can search your library for any goblin card and you can put it on the top. So he finds Muxus and puts Muxus on the top of the deck. So Michael draws for turn. I don't so the now the now the situation has changed. Michael was in a pretty decent position. Now that he's facing down a Muxus coming into the battlefield on the next turn, his board isn't as threatening as it really looks because they're all a bunch of like weenies. He has like a one one orc army, he has the bowmasters, he does have like a loop going on with the Phyrexian Dragon Engine to constantly grab some cards. But if Elliot is able to flood the board with a bunch of goblins using Muxus, Michael could be in a lot of trouble here. Is there a way for him to remove the Null Rod? 
So there is a Fable of the Mirror Breaker in the hand. Not We don't know what the other card is. If it was a kind of, if it was, oh, I think it's another Goblin Engineer. Oh, so if this is Goblin Engineer, because he's red-black, he's probably playing the Chaos Defiler. You can put Chaos Defiler into the graveyard, use Goblin Welder um, to bring the Chaos Defiler back. When it comes back, or when it enters the battlefield or it dies, it can destroy target non-land permanent and opponent controls. So when it when he welders in, he can sacrifice anything. The Phyrexian Dragon Engine. Uh, well, actually, that's the only target that he has. Oh, he can sacrifice the Grindstone, but he doesn't want to sacrifice the Grindstone because he's trying to mill the Moxus. So he's going to sacrifice the Phyrexian Dragon Engine, bring back the Chaos Defiler, blow up the Null Rod. Now he can activate the Grindstone by cracking the Arid Mesa, finding a third source of mana. So he can then mill the Grindstone, or he can mill the Moxus. That was a that was a pretty clean answer. That was a very well timed Goblin Engineer. So yeah, the Null Rod is now gone. Michael cracks the Arid Mesa, finds his uh, Badlands, taps for three, activates Grindstone. Elliot is conceding, but he doesn't have Painter, so it doesn't automatically kill. So he's just trying to get rid of the Muxus. So Grindstone, if it's not going to kill, it mills two, and if those two cards share a color, you repeat the process. So it is a red card and a black card, so it's not repeated. Okay, but now Michael is presenting lethal. He does have Painter Servant in the graveyard, and he can just get rid of the Chaos Defiler, blowing up something random, and then activating the Grindstone for game. So Elliot really needs to do something about this graveyard. There's the Goblin Lackey, passes a turn, and Michael should now win from here. Activate Grindstone. In response to the activation, we're going to Welder, get rid of the Chaos Defiler, take advantage of that trigger of blowing something up. And that is the game. So Michael wins in two. Fantastic plays. All right, guys. See you for round three.